In this video, we're in Reflow Config, and we're going to be looking at the Colors section. So I'll click in the Colors, and up here at the top, you'll notice some color presets. There's the Niagara Mods preset that's selected. There's an Earthy. I'll, I'll flip through these. These are just presets. If, if your customer doesn't have a color palette or brand guidelines. These are just some starting spots. Um, you can start out with colors. You'll notice as I select a color, um, various areas throughout Reflow are changed. Um, you can notice it here on these dashboard cards. The icon color, um, the bar container that's containing all of this weather data. And then you can go in and control each color set individually. So in Reflow, there's a concept of a primary and secondary color. I'll go ahead and click into primary color. And you can select any color you'd like up top. And say OK. And the primary color is going to use, be used the most out of, uh, out of any color. So you can see here primary colors coming through. There's other spots of reflow where these colors come through on things like that loading thing that you just saw. Um, as I hover over these, this table here, you can see a shade of that primary color is coming through. If I click up here in the menu, you can see the loading thing is purple. Um, and you can see where the primary color is used to show what's selected. And so secondary color, I can click in here and change that as well. So let's say I change this to a dark blue. And that'll affect other areas on the site as well, as you can see. Go back home here to show you the navigation item color. So up here you can see the navigation item color is set to white, so all these are white. I can click in and change that to any color I'd like. Maybe I want a, a really light blue. Say OK. And then you have the navigation item hover color. So when I hover over an item, what color do I want it to turn? So I can, again, make whatever selection I'd like. Oh, I changed the navigation item color. I'll go back to the hover color and change that to a green just so you'll be able to see it say OK. So now when I hover, the items are green. Same thing applies to navigation item active color. So this is when you've clicked through to a section. I'll make this uh, bright pink. So for example, if I click on alarms, notice now alarms is highlighted to signify that I'm on the alarms page. Another um, area where the secondary color comes through are just small highlights here. So in each of these sections, there's this highlight bar. So the secondary color will control that. You can see that there. Go back home. I'm going to restore these to the Niagara Mods colors. You can see my primary color, my secondary color, my nav item color. Got a different color in there on highlight. And we have the hero title color. So there's other areas where you can change the hero title color. And 
In Reflow, we, we try to make it as easy as possible. If you're in the color section, you expect to have control over all the colors. So there are areas where some controls are duplicated just to make uh, more sense uh, out of the user interface. Same thing applies to the hero background tint color. You can find that in the settings as well, or the color section here. So here I can select a color and drag to choose an opacity of that color. I'm going to choose black, and that looks good in there. You also have alarm priority colors. So by default, we set up a high priority, medium, and a low priority color. You can go in and change these how you see fit, or click clear to go back, and you can always res restore the, the default colors like that. So alarms, just to show you real quick, these are where the colors are pulled through in the alarms. You also have the web, uh, the uh, nav widget, which you can control up here. It's also in the settings, um, but like I said, some controls are in a couple different places. So you can choose whether it inherits the, the navigation colors, or you can, again, select your to make this custom and dial it in however you want. And you can control the text independent from the icon color. So if I wanted the text to be red, I could do that. I'm going to say clear and turn it back to white. And the icon, I can select if I want that icon to be yellow, I can do that. Let's say clear. And you can restore these uh, to the default. I'm going to go ahead and change that back. Something like that. So those are the colors. You can see how it's really powerful to be able to come to one spot like this, change the colors, and then have everything else change um, based on what you select.